Hey guys, today I want to show you how to edit mesh files and STL files in CW360 um, to reduce the face count and um, also clean them up a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to uh, right click, go down to edit, and what for you might come up it pop up saying um, that the well basically that you can't access that right now so uh, I'll show you what you got to do you gotta go over to your name click preferences go to preview features and you have to check the mesh workspace because you won't be able to edit or manipulate the meshes without this so you press the, the tick press ok press apply and press ok um, and then for me I had to restart my CG360 to get it to properly function again uh, it didn't work straight away so what you can do now is you can click edit and it'll open up the mesh workspace in which you can use the tools such as uh, raise fill remesh reduce all this kind of stuff here to to you know edit your your mesh file so what it gives you initially is a brush type tool you can use to select areas so I select this area and I can literally just press the delete button on my keyboard um, to try and delete that and then you can <coughs> go in to get the finer details keep keep cleaning it up you can uh, even do I press escape to unselect it it might take a while because it's quite a big file so and my laptop's not very powerful um, so if I select that then I'll select all the uh, options in there and press delete. Uh, you, what you want to do is select some fields to make sure it's slept through. And it's just because these parts aren't facing the area selected, so they doesn't expect me to be clicking on them. So if I go around on the back here and now try again, I should be able to select a lot more of them. Oh, And I press delete. There we go. So a lot more of them are deleted now. You can just keep doing that. It's a little bit finicky, but you know it is what it is. Um, again, we'll go over here. So <coughs> just keep keep doing that. Press delete. So if you prefer the brush tool, it might be easier. There's also a freeform selection. So that might be more your style. Oh, and give it a second because it really uh, struggles with this kind of stuff. My laptop. Um, you can also do stuff in here like um, smooth and erase and fill. Erase and fill I find is quite quite useful for fixing up little little bits of. So the top of my head here is not not perfect so if I go over to the brush tool again sorry I should have selected it click paint selection right and I select the area that I want to smooth and okay so let me show you up close beforehand so I can show you what it does so there's loads of let me choose a maybe a, a fair area for this so yeah here if I select that you see how there's all these holes hold on Right, you see how there's all these holes that have been missed out and if I click erase and fill and it will fill those holes in automatically I'll click OK it'll take a minute to do it but it should do it pretty well again over here actually I want to deselect the previous selection by pressing escape and uh, click there Raise and fill should fill up those holes quite nicely. There's also features such as uh, making a closed mesh. So if you did want to 3D print this, potentially, um, I mean there'd be loads of errors because it's it's hollow. It's got a uh, well, that's not the thing that causes the errors actually. It's because there's like 
gap. Gaps in the print. So that would make it struggle a bit. So if I go over to, uh, let me just do some notes. Just area, pressing escape. And then I go over to make clothes mesh. And I click on the whole entire thing. I press OK. So it will take a minute to sort it out. It should close up these areas a bit better. And make a um, thing. So yeah, it's, it's made it, essentially what it does is, if you can see here, makes a mesh body as a watertight solid mesh. So there's no holes and no gaps in it. That's what it's done here with all these bits at the bottom. And then you can proceed to clean that up a bit more, a bit better. And it's done it's done a right job on my head to be fair. Well um you need to go through with the other tools like the smoothing tools to kind of make that a bit better. Might give that a shot actually. See um I can show you how that works. So you click smooth and it's smooth it a bit, but if you can uh you can like bring it up. So I'll let my PC my laptop wait a little bit to catch up. Oh. There you go. It's looking a lot better there. I'll just bump it off even further. Even further. All the way. Yeah, there you go. It's not looking as bad now. So just keep doing that with with the and should be alright. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I shall uh, see you next time.